How is that? Is that better? I'm all this talking and there's no audio. I am pulling what I call a classic oxhorn where he will go live and do this. You can tell he's doing this diatribe because his hands are flying and he's getting excited. Oh good, much better. Hey Ash, how you doing? Um, and then about halfway through it, hey Cole, what's going on man? I am hearing all kinds of captions are working. Oh good. <laughs> <laughs> At least there were captions. Anyway, as I was saying, I uh, jumped on just a little bit early uh, because I didn't announce that I was going to be doing this live stream. Good morning, Ash. I'm going to be working on comic books this morning. Uh, I've uh, started The Grand Adventure, which is this long-form story I'm doing with my Dungeon Notes characters. And we'll be working on that a little bit. But first, a little business. I am sharing this video to the Chain Reaction Studios page, but I'm also sharing it to my personal page, and that might be where some of you are seeing it. But I'm also going to be uploading this video to the Chain Reactions YouTube page. That way you have a choice of places that you would like to uh, view whatever it is I'm up to. What comics are am I working on? I am currently working on a, a Dungeon Notes based comic called The Grand Adventure. In fact, what I'll do is I'll flip over here in a second and I'll let you kind of get a sneak preview of what it's about. Uh, it's a comic I started a while back, so if you've been watching my DeviantArt page or even here on the Facebook page, you can go back and see some of the older pages. And I got up to, I don't know, page 10 or so and got stuck on page 11 for a very long time. Well, I've had a breakthrough story-wise. I now know how I want to proceed with the story, vaguely. And so I've started drawing again, and so I'm working on that comic. But please, when you get an opportunity for all of you, go over to the YouTube uh, channel and subscribe. Uh, it'll help me out quite a bit. That way I can live stream straight to the YouTube channel. You have to have so many posts and so many viewing hours and so many people following you before you can do a live stream over there. And so that's kind of the goal right now is to get that up and running and then we can expand the empire of Jeff. <laughs> or just have more fun. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, actually, I don't know, start working. And I'm going to flip over here to, I have this button box, I have this button thing here. So, bink! And I forgot to use the button when I went live to turn on my mic. I have it all set up. So here's the page that I was working on last time I streamed. And this was the page I was having the longest time with. But for those of you who are new to what's going on here, let's lock everything down. That's basically what a page looks like before I clean it up. These are all the elements that go into creating the different layers of the page. Uh, and this blue line, which you may or may not be able to see, is actually where it gets cut and centered on the page. So anything outside of that blue line can get cut by the printer uh, when I go to publication. But basically it's the story of, it's a dark and stormy night and my main character is like you just did not start your story there. What is wrong with you, basically? And we have this adventurer just walking through the rain, apparently with a dagger stuck through his back. Meanwhile, my main character is arguing with me, the clever artist, about how I chose to uh, start this adventure. You know, am I going to start at a roadside inn? <laughs> Who starts adventures at a roadside inn? <laughs> What is this, some, some dude going to walk up with a moldy old map with a dagger stuck in his back and just drop dead at my feet? Oh, um, can I help you? Yeah, he drops dead at his feet. Then, of course, we have the whole diatribe of take the map and Bork is just not. No, this, this cliche was too much for him. So he's arguing. Uh, but unfortunately... He had an argument with his agent, and his agent said he had to do it. So now there's this argument. Unfortunately, as we know in all stories, there is an integral plot device that cannot be avoided. And unfortunately, the guy with the map and the dagger in his back cannot be evaded. So he has to take the map. He has to start the adventure. And fine. Moldy old maps. Better be worth it. Mortal. Oh, dear God. Holy snockers. The bloody map. Talk to me. 
So now he's going to go show it to his best friend. And this is kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, today, my plan is just kind of work on some of the special effects for these panels. Uh, for example, where it says down here at the bottom where uh, Borg is showing the map, there's a, a very obvious light source coming from, from the map. And I want to shadow and backlit Borg and the map. And then I want to highlight Sherman, who's the dwarf, uh, in the front of the map so that this light source is a lot more intense. So that's kind of my goal here. I'm um, just going to futz around, kind of just tweak this, tweak that, move this. Nothing really uh, earth shattering. I'm not reinventing the wheel or, or anything here, but I'm going to kind of play around with special effects. And I'm glad that you're all here to join me a little bit on this uh, adventure. So I'm going to do exactly what I said. I'm going to zoom in here onto this panel. And it gets really bright. Um, so here's what we're going to work on. And I'm going to open it up. And I have created symbols. So when you create pictures nested inside of pictures nested inside of pictures, those, those nested pictures are called symbols. And so this page is made up of four symbols so that I can access each one individually like this and mess around and still kind of get it all where it needs to be. If you have questions about any of the silliness I'm doing or you just want to know why I'm wearing a fez, go ahead and ask me. Uh, I am open to comments after the fact. I will go over to the YouTube channel and look at any comments that may or may not be left there. I will look at comments on both pages on Facebook. Just try to catch up and see where uh, people or interests lie and in what I'm doing. But right now, I'm going to open up Bork. Bink. As you can see, there's a little more to him than what I have. I always overdraw my pieces because, you know, I might want to move things around and nudge them around. So I'm going to work on him today. And one of the techniques that I use, let's zoom in on him just a little bit more, is I will copy all the solid areas of a character. So like this hand that I just selected. And I'm going to go ahead and select. Actually, I don't want the lines, but it doesn't bother me that I have the lines. But it might be easier if I just select everything. So let's open it all up. Let's select the whole thing. I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to create a layer in, on top of everything. And I'm going to call the shadow layer. And then I'm going to very unceremoniously just paste everything in place. I'm going to lock everything but this. And then just for purposes of being able to grab all the lines. I'm going to turn it into this horrible pink. This fuchsia is probably the worst thing ever created. But man, it does the job that I wanted to do. So in this case, the job I wanted to do is allow me to see all these lines so I can get rid of them. And boy, it's arguing with me a little bit. All right, fine. We'll get in there in a second. Mess around with it. Get rid of all the incriminating evidence, so to speak. I like to welcome anybody who's just joining me today to uh, this rather chilly Arizona morning. It's a whole, what, 54 degrees? I know some of you who may be in more northern states are hearing that going, please. But you got to understand, it's a dry cold. Okay, that was my dad joke for the day. Didn't want to do that. Alrighty. I hope everyone is well today. I know that I didn't announce this live stream, but I live stream every Tuesday for the most part uh, at 10 o'clock Arizona time. And I like to always invite you to come and join me. Stop by, say hi. Hey, Kate, how you doing? Great to see you too. Um, there is a YouTube page that I'll be, I've got like two older videos uh, over there. Uh, it's Chain Reaction, not Chain Reaction Studios, Chain Reaction. 
uh, where I'll be posting this particular video over there if you're interested in seeing what I do and how I do it. Today we are going to mess around with shadows. Okay. Now that I've gotten all the lines out of there, I'm going to turn this black. And this will be my shadow brush. So I'm going to now turn this into a brush that I can manipulate. Or a shadow page. This is 11 scene D. So that's the name of this piece. The reason I did that is so that I can mess around with it a little bit. I can do alphas and then I can like play around with the shadow level. Now it's not going to remain a solid piece. Um, but this way I can kind of play around with it a little bit. Or if I decide to make this just normal, I can play around with the blending styles. You have dark, multiply, lighten, screen, overlay, so forth and so on. These are some of my favorite things to mess around with. Darken, well, doesn't do anything because it's black. Multiply, same thing. But if I do a screen, not quite the effect I'm after, but at least it had an effect. Overlay tends to tweak the colors a little too much for me in this. And that's where I could, if I wanted to, come over here and do the alpha again and mess around with it. But again, I think it kind of horks those colors a little too much. So I may not be using the blend options in this case, but I'm going to go through see what a hard light looks like. Hard light's a little closer to what I want. So I might be using the hard light. Let's see if I put hard light all the way up. Yeah. So that's more like as if I didn't have an effect on there at all. If I went to normal, see, it's just very little difference. So. It looks like for what I want to do, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to use the hard light. But he's not going to be completely in shadows like this. I'm going to have some light peek through and get in here. So what that means is I'm going to have to erase odds and ends to make those highlights show up. So I'm going to get an eraser tool. Now I haven't really used the eraser tool in this version that much. You can see I can really make it huge. But I only need maybe three pixels. Let's play around with this. Is this going to... Alright. That was not exactly the effect I wanted. Let's drop this down to two pixels at least. And let's see if we can get it to behave. No, not the way I want it to. My computer is stuttering a little bit because I am streaming on it. And vectors are, well, at the very least, just a wee bit persnickety. So we're going to get in here. And it's not going to be perfect. And it's OK, because I'm going to blur it a little bit, too. So that hides a lot of my sins. I use blur to save my butt a lot. Is anyone out there working on any art of their own? Are you looking at a new marketing? <laughs> are you offering the job? <laughs> offering to take the job. My marketing right now is in the floor. Uh, Kate has helped me in the past uh, when we were going to conventions and things trying to help me get a handle on all this stuff. <laughs> and we went to several conventions trying to figure this out at one point. Uh, and, oh, Brandy's in here. I'm trying to decide what I want to work on next. Well, I saw the tattoo that you sent me. That looks really good. I am really, really, really... Uh, or is it still mine? <laughs> I don't have a marketing department right now. Uh, I do have a lot of people helping me out, but I don't really have a department. Um, let's get this down here. Now, in Photoshop, you can click and then hold shift and click and it doesn't seem to work here I wanted to get you in special edition what is special edition sounds fun this is not quite doing what I wanted to do but we'll clean it up here Oops. 
Alrighty. Uh, there's definitely some things I wish that worked better. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up here a little bit. This is just not having the effect that I want. It'd be easier to do this in Photoshop, to be honest. And it's not beneath me to run this over to Photoshop and to create the mask that I want. I might have to do that. All right. So, let's play with that concept. Comic-Con Special Edition was awesome. Oh, very cool. Very, very comic and old school. Aha! Well, you've been trying to get me to go to Comic-Con San Diego for quite some time. And if this year... I'm still trepidatious about the world at large, especially with the, the new uh, variant that's out there. Oh, gaming and arts. Perfect. I kind of fit that intersection. I'm not sure what to expect out of this convention uh, season. My first convention will be in May, which if I flip back over to here. May 27th through 29th at uh, the comic. Uh, it's called uh, Phoenix Fan Fusion. It's basically our comic con. Uh, at the Phoenix Convention Center, and that's going to be my first convention that I'm going to go to. Sure, I will definitely, because uh, I'm always interested in going out there. It's it's about logistics. Uh, it has always been about logistics, uh, getting out there, um, getting the stuff out there. Um, just you know, I have people who are going to be coming with me. They're going to be helping me. Uh, just getting everyone boarded and fed. <laughs> and having the gas to get out there and back. I don't know what the season's going to be like. This, I think, will be one extreme or the other. It'll be everybody is ravenous and because they haven't had a convention in so many years and must have a convention, or they're going to be trepidatious. But yes, I will give you a call, and we can talk about this. That'll be awesome. I haven't talked to you in a while. But first, what I'm going to do, because I am not kind of happy with what this is doing here, I'm going to copy this piece and then I'm going to create a new file just for purposes of putting this in so I can make a, a PNG basically of it. And then I'm going to go over to Photoshop, which I'll open up. Oh, good grief, it wants me to create something. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste this piece here at size and then I'm going to go ahead and go file export when it decides and I'm going to export the image and it's going to get all weird on me here and you're not seeing any of this because I forgot to flip back over to here because I'm, in, I'm not the brightest artist um, so we're going to get this up and running over here there we go you guys don't see this page. That's interesting. Uh, I'm saving out this image that you see in front of you so that I can go into Photoshop and mess with it. You can take images from Photoshop and other uh, things like Illustrator or whatever, and bring them over and animate and work with them like as brushes or as I'm going to use them, I'm going to create a symbol. Uh, but I kind of want this symbol uh, to have a very special uh, feel about it. So I'm bringing it over to Photoshop and I need to find a nice spot to put this so that I can find it. So I have a folder that you, you can see my mouse moving around. I'm actually navigating some folders and I'm not going to put it in the coloring books. I was going to put it in comics. Uh, boy, it must be so much fun watching somebody just move a cursor around a screen not knowing what the heck is going on. There it is, comics. And then we're going to save this a shadow. P11D. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up my version of Photoshop, which is older. It's older. I'll admit it. But it does the job. But I want to get it up and running um, before I flip over to the page because it gets persnickety. Um, but how are you guys feeling about convention season? That, that would be a great uh, conversation for us to have. As I said, I think it's going to be 
one end of the spectrum or the other end of the spectrum. I don't think there's going to be any middle ground. I've been seeing a lot of conventions. Uh, for example, Adam Savage has done like seven or eight since August. Uh, and he's had some really good experiences. They've been... The energy level's been lower. It's not to say that they're they're depressing or anything. It's just the energy is not that ramped up energy that you get when you get to a very large event. There are fewer people. Uh, and, and even Kate pointed out that Comic-Con had fewer people. I'm hesitant. I want to go. But for me, it is a question of funds and how COVID is looking. That's a lot of people. Yes, ma'am, it is. That is a lot of people. Why is Photoshop not firing up? Let's try that again. There we go. That's a lot of people in a closed space, but I've been down in the dealer's room, as you have, uh, and it's a pretty big space. If they minimize a little bit, and that white blinding light turning me into a ghost is my Photoshop working, if they spread people out, it might be okay. I'm going to go over to Photoshop now. Somebody forgot to load the software. Yeah, that'd be me. And then I'm going to open up. And you don't see any of those menus. That's interesting. Uh, we're going to go over to my Dungeon Notes folder. And we're going to go over to the comics where I dropped, hopefully, that picture. There it is. There it is. And that is not the brush I want to work with. That's huge. Okay, so... In case you don't, oh, you can't see that. That's kind of annoying. I might have to look in to see. So what I'm going to do is you can see this brush I have here. That's a grunge brush that I was using for another project. Oh, hey, I miss you too, Matthew, man. How you getting doing? Uh, everything is going well. Uh, ooh, Baby Cthulhu. I love it. You got to say it like that, too. You can't just say Baby Cthulhu. It's got to be Baby Cthulhu. Um that is official. Ron has decided that's the way it's said. He is an amazing writer of comic books. I am having a blast. I had a birthday on Sunday and I had such amazing outpouring of, of well wishes. It was awesome. Uh, you can't see the menu that I'm going to but basically you would... Let me close this. No, let's not do that though. There is up here, you can see where my cursor is, this, you know, 1968, that's the size of the brush. And there's a little arrow, if you click on that, I get a drop down menu and then there's a little arrow off to the side and you can choose from a list depending on what you have um, in your, your brush, um, kind of brush that you want. I'm going to go back to just the basic brushes for what I want, so now I've got, I don't have that big monster thing. Oh man, I'm so glad there are so many people just popping in, popping out, having a good time here, seeing what I'm up to. Uh, and for some reason, I'm not getting the double posts, which is uh, great. I don't know if that's something they fixed, because I just updated everything or not. But I'm going to get in here and zoom in on this. This is pretty pixelated, but that's okay. It's going to fit my needs, I hope. Uh, because I'm going to use this brush and blur it out and do all kinds of different things here. Uh, again, for those of you just tuning in, I do have a YouTube channel. Um, it is Chain Reaction, not Chain Reaction Studios, just Chain Reaction on YouTube. Uh, and if you go over there, yes, Matt is a troublemaker. <laughs> I, uh, it will help me out because right now I can't stream directly to YouTube. And so if you go over there, and I've got a couple of videos, and I'll be uploading this video over there if you want to watch it later, and giving you a choice of where you can watch your, your videos. But um, I can't stream there just yet. So, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a feature uh, in Photoshop that I couldn't use in Flash. I'm just trying to take the edge off of these brushes, and by holding, by clicking one spot, and holding shift, I can create down a line. So let's take this one. I click there. I come up here. I click shift. There you go. And there's that. Now this is not how I'm wanting to do this brush completely. 
but it'll get me started. And I'll probably have to come back and futz with this some more when we're offline, but this... Boy, I probably should have used a smaller brush. Because I know the helmet's in here, and I want to show more of the helmet than what I've got. Well, that's not what I want. All right, see, I can't undo. Haha, -ha, but there's a thing called history. And I can undo my histories. You can't see it, though, can you? Dang it. I really need to figure out what is causing this not to be able to see. So we're going to start completely over here. I'm going to use a smaller brush because I got excited just showing off what I was doing. All right. We need a smaller brush for this. And... Uh-oh. Oh, totally mad. I was talking about me. <laughs> what did I do? I'm innocent as pure snow. Maybe in, I don't know, Detroit. <laughs> All right, whoops, it's too much. Uh, nope, way too much. Sound effects are free. Go yink, and then yink, 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 Oh, sure, an innocent pirate. Look, oh, 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 it was like that when I found it. You can't blame, okay. Well, I'm not going to be there for you, for you, for you to blame it, so I'm just going to run away. <laughs> As Peg would say. I play a... For those of you who have no idea what I'm doing, why did he jump into a really horrible Scottish accent? I play a pirate character called Peg at the local Renaissance Fair. And he is a navigator. Not a good one. He's just... He's really good about finding rum. Come for the sound effects, stay for the art. Yes. <laughs> that should be my tagline. Thank you, Brandy. <laughs> for those people who know and love me, yes, cartoonists do it with sound effects. Okay, I don't really need to do this section here, but I'm going to do it. So, this is just me messing around. This may or may not work the way I want it to work, but I'm going to go and save this out. Uh, I'm going to save this hopefully as a separate brush. Did I just save over it? File. Yeah, I think I just saved over it. That's okay. And then we will come back over here to animate. And then I'm going to create another layer just so I can line things up. I'm going to insert a layer. I'm going to go ahead and turn this into that obnoxious pink so I know what I'm working with. We're going to go File, we're going to Import to Stage, which of course you see none of those menus. That is very frustrating. So I'm navigating right now through all my myriad of folders and files so that I can get that brush. There we go. And it even put itself kind of where I wanted it. So. And you see the pink that's sticking, stinking, sticking out here. That's where we're going to get some highlights. I'm hoping. I'm going to go ahead and whoops, wrong thing. No, 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 no. Let's try that again. Why do I have 50 million? No, hang on. No, no. Apparently, I've also created a bunch of animation frames. So we're going to clear, remove frames because we don't need those. And we're going to take you and, actually, we're going to say file, import. I got lost. And we're going to go back to me navigating with just a cursor floating around. You guys are wondering what I'm up to. And there's that. So now, canvas, that's good. That works for me. We're going to come back over here to the comic where this is. I'm going to insert that layer again. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to turn this into an obnoxious color. I'm going to go File, Import to Stage. And... Why? Oh, it's looking for Cancel. What in the world did I ask it to do? File, Import to Stage. And it's looking for FLA. That's weird. We just want this. All right. 
and that didn't go exactly where I wanted it to go, and that's okay. All right, let's hopefully this was worth the work. I doubt it, but let's see. I'm gonna take the pink thing, I'm gonna delete it. Oh, I got it. What is happening is I copied this. So we're gonna say copy. No, no, hang on. That's what I thought. All right, fine, we're just gonna make you go away. We're gonna go file. Nothing's working the way I want it today. If you ever noticed, it's not my it's not Monday, but it sure feels like one to me. Uh, don't replace. Okay, and we'll just move him into place where we want it. So that's sort of the effect I want, not quite, but it's a good start. And I, like I said, I'll probably have to go offline to really get this honed in. But now I can start playing with the effect. So when I do fix it, it'll look better. That's not bad. So let's play around with this. I'm gonna put a blur on it just a little bit, which will hide all my sins, one would hope. Uh, let's do a medium blur, and then I wanna come back up here and bring the transparency to a little more opaque. And see how I've got this glow around his knuckles, which is what I'm after, anywhere the light would come through? That's kinda what I'm after here for this piece. So, uh-oh, hey! <laughs> Lisa, how you doing? Uh, that's a beautiful pink. Well, yes, it's what I call my obnoxious fuchsia pink. And I use it to uh, denote masks so that I, I don't mistake them for something else. <laughs> but I am working on a comic today. Let's come back here and let's just see how everything looks together. Ta-da! There we go. And it's a subtle effect, but I think it uh, works. What is this pink color in RGB? Um, that's that's the hex FF00FF, but I don't know what the RGB is of that, because that is a particular pink. Let's just be fair about that. That is a very particular fuchsia. Anyway, I'm doing special effects on a comic book that I'm working on. Um, this is a page I've been stuck on for a very long time, and so now I'm just kind of tweaking it and playing with it. I want to bring up the lighting effects here. I want to make the character in the background have a little more yellow over him. Uh, rogues do it from behind. Artists do it with sound effects. I am laughing myself to death. <laughs> yes. Yes, they do. We'll just leave that at that. <laughs> I'm very glad that people are able to pop in and say hi. Oh, did you really? Ah, uh, pictures or it didn't happen. Because <laughs> that would be amazing. That would be absolutely amazing color for hair. Um, like I said, I don't know what the RGB value is, but the hex value is FF00FF. And I wonder if I can get it at the, the RGB over here if I do this. Yes, I think I can. Uh, 255, 46, 255. For those of you who are interested in taking score. Roughly. All right, back to what I was doing, being silly. Uh, thank you for joining, Lisa. I do this every Tuesday at about 10 o'clock our time. Uh, I told everybody you might get a kick out of this. I, I welcomed everybody to this chilly Arizona morning. And, you know, a lot of our friends and family are from more northern climes, and they're going to be like, please. But I'm going to be like, no, it's a dry cold. I got to say that joke twice in the same broadcast. <laughs> I live for the dad joke moments. What can I say? All right, this is kind of working for me, but not 100% what I want. So I'm going to backtrack a little bit here back to this and put that all back in there and we come back to that lovely pink uh, make this grab that delete that since we're using a uh, blur this may or may not work the way I want it to but a lot of what I do is a lot of trial and error so I'm going to color this back to black I'm gonna come back over here we should still have our alpha. We should. No, I apparently got rid of it. Have our blur. 
and that's just mm. getting the effect that I really, really, really want. It's going to be kind of difficult, I think, to, to hunt down without just doing some serious work, digging in and just doing it. A lot of art is 10% inspiration, 90% perspiration, and that's a truth. Uh, I'm not getting what I want out of this, and I'm going to have to sit down and just make it. So that's what's going to happen here. I am going to make a duplicate of this brush so I can see where I'm at. And I think, you know what? No, even better. Aha, smarter than your average bear. <laughs> I have all these lines that I got rid of earlier. Remember those? I'm going to use them again. So get back in here. We're going to open everything up. We are going to hide this brush. And now I'm just going to grab. Actually, I'm just going to grab everything. We're going to remake that brush. So we're just going to grab all of this again and start over. It's OK to start over. It happens. This is me making it up as I go. I've never claimed to be an expert. Uh, but I do enjoy fumbling around trying to figure stuff out. I'm going to switch layers and I'm going to paste this roughly where I need it. Actually, is my snap tool on? It is, so I'm just going to snap it to this corner right here. Nope, wrong one. Stop that! Do as I say, not as I do. There we go. So that's where I kind of need it. And I'm going to get rid of all the uh, shading that's in here. And what I'm doing is, is I'm creating an outline for me to kind of follow when I'm on the black that's underneath that I'm exposing so that I can see where I want to remove black for the shadow. The effect is, is that light will kind of peek around these edges as you saw me doing and I'm just not happy with the general effect. So I'm coming back over here because I want some of the light to come down the helmet so that's why I need this line right here in particular. Um, some of my lines are being funky and that's okay. There we go. So I'm starting over because I also want a little bit of light on some of these rivets. Uh, I want the way the light interacts on these hands a little more specific and I just wasn't happy with what I was achieving so we're gonna Start over. Oh, okay, you're going to be like that for now. We'll get to you in a second. And I'm just going to delete all of this mess that's in here, which is why I was trying to avoid this earlier. And that was just me being lazy. Um, and nope, 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 nope. We're going to grab this. I know watching somebody sit around and draw, and I've said this before, it's like watching you know paint dry. And it's kind of excuse the pun there. But, if I can inspire or show a technique that someone hadn't thought of, wow, my computer is lagging hard. I'm, only, I'm already four things ahead of what I'm deleted. Let's let it catch up. Let's let it catch up. There we go. Um, I think it's worth it. I have had the pleasure of seeing a lot of young artists art recently and seeing their growth and there is a joy to watching somebody grow by leaps and bounds and if I can inspire like I said then it's all worth worth it to me I really love that part of this I like being a mentor and Oh man, this is going to take forever here. <laughs> Alright, let's grab all this. My computer is not happy with me. It's time to upgrade. This is only an 8 year old, 10 year old, 12 year old computer. It has served me well. Has it been that long? No, it's probably closer to 8. But it has served me well. I was working at a company that its final name ended up being Angry Lime, and that's when I had this built for me by one of my friends there. 
Todd did an amazing job. He future-proofed this computer, and it's only just now kind of showing its age. So I'm very happy about that. He did good work. All right. I know this is tedious to watch. Like, get to the good stuff. No, this is the good stuff. Sorry. <laughs> But I was trying to be lazy and do this particular effect, trying to use some cheats and some shortcuts, like going into Photoshop, and it just wasn't doing what I wanted. It wasn't giving me the control that I wanted. I guess I'm a control freak, ultimately. Um, I know I'm not the world's greatest cartoonist, but I do know what I like, and there are certain effects that I really enjoy doing, but they do have to be done well, or they just don't look good at all. Oh well. Anyway, how's everyone else doing out there on this chilly morning for Arizonans? Uh, anyone doing anything exciting besides being at work? A lot of us have the privilege of being able to work from home still. Alright, I've cleaned that up. And those are the original lines. And what I'm going to do is, since it's a popular color, I'm going to use that beautiful fuchsia pink. Oops, wrong thing use that beautiful fuchsia pink and I'm gonna turn all the lines into that color that's also very easy for me to see and be able to work around so now I'm gonna lock that go down here loving working from home that's all I love it too the commutes great I get I don't know two three weeks to the gallon now <laughs> it's a standard joke I'm sticking with it all right so now's the hard part working with the eraser that's in animate it's it does its job let me see are there any other presets i can mess around with that would be useful for me scale size with symbol instance erase on active layer sync settings blah 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 zoom size with stage which is what we want uh then we have a min size we have different size shapes which i'm used to so no for the most part this this is it uh, let's just make sure do that and me okay so I'm going to kind of play around with this a little bit I probably should use my pen instead of my mouse that's probably my biggest problem if you can get a stylus use it and uh, I keep forgetting I mouse a lot of my textures. I'm going to move some stuff around here so the camera might move. Sorry. If it does, put me back where I belong. There we go. Well, we are 44 minutes into this stream and we still haven't accomplished anything. I love it. But I think this effect is going to be worth it. At least to me. I'm and you guys are going to be the only ones to know what was put into this particular effect. And hopefully it'll be worth it. But yes, I'm already happier with where we're going with this. Definitely happier that I'm using the pen. I'm gonna go ahead. this. We're going to go ahead and get the thumb in here. It's not perfect, but it'll do the job. Yay. Like I said, we're going to blur this, so any inconsistencies in line thickness will be erased, basically. And that's more what I'm looking for, something like that. A little more control over that shadow. Alrighty. Hey, I'm up to five whole viewers. Sweet! <laughs> Hopefully I'm entertaining. <laughs> if nothing else, I, I probably have people going, what's this guy doing with a fez on his head? Because all art's done with fez. What can I say? I'm going to add a little bit here. Is it a highlight? Which, when I go to finish up the character that the 
this I'm doing this to this is boric by the way I'll add those highlights to the physical object as well and I don't have to worry about anything below this line here but I will because again you never know when I'm going to adjust things and just kind of nudge things around and if I haven't drawn everything then it shows or I have to go through and fix it as we can see I don't like having to go back and fix things so yep this is the process as you can see also look at these lines see how jagged this is it's because I'm working with vectors and not um, rastered pixels and that is its advantage and its curse so I'm kind of just playing around here uh, I, I'm definitely happier with this light uh, I'm going to put a little bit right here I'm going to do it a little bit right here I'm definitely doing it along this edge here Has anyone got any questions about why I'm doing certain things the way I'm doing it, or what I'm doing next? Things you want to see? Uh, I actually have an idea, and I mentioned it last stream, about maybe doing a series of baby dragon pieces that are uh, rainbow colored, the various colors of the rainbow. That would be nice. Um, have fun with those. Rainbows are always fun. quite what I wanted there. That's, that's a little too messy. Let's keep that on the inside of the line. I was hoping I could go down the line, but no, that's what I get for thinking. All right. Now I was talking about I wanted a little, a little here. This is the back of his head, so there might be a little ink here. A little ink there, but not a lot. Then I'm going to do the same thing down the side of this helm here, especially since this is the light source. So I'm going to open this up a little bit more. And just get rid of a whole lot more on this side of the helmet. Because I have the highlights. And it makes sense. Of course, I could just delete those, couldn't I? Make my life easier. There we go. Go away. Go away. And for the most part, go away, because I'm probably going to... Oh, did it get it all? It did. Okay, cool. So, you can see where I'm going with this. I hope. And it's going to be just tedious work. Just me getting in here and tearing up this poor old helmet. Ding, 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 ding. Just a little here, a little bit there, a little bit more there. We do know that we're doing a line here. Anywhere there's an edge where that light can bleed, I kind of want to have that effect. Kind of like vellum, you know how you can see light through vellum? Well, it's kind of the overall effect I'm going for. Why can I not? Why is it arguing with me here? all places. All right. This will be very entertaining. So let me get the rest of this and get these hands done and then I want to work on a little bit of the body. Not as much because it's mostly in shadow because it's behind this map. But I do want, man, that is just ugly. Let's not do that. Let's put that back. There we go. Now well, let's do it. You can see the hiccup I'm up in my computer. My my cursor goes by, but the line takes a moment to catch up. <laughs> Alrighty. Who's all still with me? I know I've got a Brandy. I don't know if I still have a Lisa or a Kate. Don't know if I still have a Matthew. I know people just kind of popped in and said hi. And 
very grateful for all of you who do come in. I know this is not the most riveting of content, but this is what artists go through. Some are faster than others, some are doing a lot more interesting stuff than others, but it takes time to do any art of any style or at the very least it takes time to learn how to do it well and quick and I have been working on this stupid comic page for at least two years trying to figure out what it is I wanted to do with it and I'm happy I've gotten to a point where I know where I want to take at least this part of the story and I know the overall goal of the story, but the in-between bits, I should probably have written. So I'm committing the cardinal sin of drawing the art before I finish writing the story. And those of you who know me, I'm not a writer. I am happy to say I'm illiterate in several different languages. But I am not a writer. Come on, that was funny. <laughs> I'm now talking to myself. I guess that's what streaming is. is In reality, you're talking to yourself, but there is an audience with any luck. And you're talking to them, too. All right. Just a little hint here. And I'm going to address a little bit here in the hair. And it can be random. Just get a little bit in there. And just a little bit here. There. All right. Oop, auto save. Always have that auto backup on. This is a little closer. It's not as clean as I want it to be, but this is closer to what I'm trying to create. So I am going to get rid of this layer. I can undo and come back if I decide I need more. And I do want to drop this a little bit, but that's closer to the general effect I'm after. It's not as dynamic as I thought it was going to be, but it's got the glowy effect that I want. I could probably bring the, let's see, I can move this to low, which will sharpen it just a little bit, and then turn the blur down by one and turn it to three pixels. So that'll sharpen that up a little bit. And let's go back to the main page and see how it looks. And that's a lot better to my eye. Uh, that was a lot of work for a little bit of effect, but I think it pays off in the long run. There are a few other effects I'm going to put in there. Um, definitely need to add that glow. I need to probably look at these different glow masks I've got going on here. Like, let's see if I can get at it. Let's take a look at this one. Is that one I can get at, or did I lock? Okay, I've locked everything. So let's unlock everything. And let's play around with some of these alphas. Yeah, I need a little more uh, effect going on here. That's that's the official sound effect. Uh, uh, uh. And let's see, which one's this one? This should be the... Yeah, I want this to be much more encompassing. And that's the tint. I don't think I can do anything about that because that's that is an actual Photoshop brush, and so the transparency I don't have a, too much control over right now. I could go in and fix it, but I want to stay consistent with some of the other brushes I've got. And then yeah, oh, let's bring that glow up there. And to that end, I'm going to find Sherman, who should be at the bottom here, 
Sherman needs to get tented just a little bit more. He is being tented, but he needs more of that. Oh God, I'm being colored by this light. And then I think I'm gonna move this mortal word up just a little bit. So now we're gonna work on Sherman and put some highlights and things in on him. Because this is what he looks like right now. Um, brushes. So the chainmail is done with the brush that I created and overlaid and used as a mask. Uh, I've shown that effect before. I am going to probably keep working on these guys for a little bit. But we are getting ready to come up to the top of the hour. We are about three minutes in, or three minutes from ending the stream. So this is where I'm going to end, and hopefully uh, when I come back I'll have another page started and working on. But would you want me to continue working on the comic so you can see it evolve? Or do you want me to start something from scratch so you can see the process? Or do you just want me to work on something different? Uh, it was proposed that I work on some 3D modeling. And in fact, uh, Fallout has this new uh, gift they give out, and it's a nuclear Christmas tree. And it's just this nice rounded piece of, of kit with lights that look like uh, a little bit like a mini nuke. And uh, it was thought that that would be kind of fun to 3D model. So I can do 3D modeling, I can do uh, more comics, I can work on baby dragons. Um, it's really up to what you guys want to see. I will continue working on this, and this will get finished eventually. Uh, I can work on the baby dragons, those will eventually get done, and I can work on 3D modeling, because these are all things that I'm very passionate about and I love doing. And what I really love is that I was able to share this with you, my audience, and I'm very grateful to have you in this stream and in my life. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up a little bit early because I came in a little bit early today. I just wanted to say that you're all loved and you are deserving of that love. Um, you need to give yourself a break and love yourself. This is a tough time of year for a lot of us. So just remember that you are worthy. You will always be worthy. So for right now, let's come back over here. I just wanted to say thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching me fumble around <laughs> with both mics and shadows and so forth and so on. Uh, I really enjoy doing this and having you guys come along for the trip. So again, thank you very much. Please subscribe, like, share with your friends, tell them about this if you think this is something they'd be interested in. Please go over to the YouTube channel and go ahead and subscribe over there. This will help me be able to stream over there on a regular basis. In the meantime, thank you very much and I will see you guys next week.